Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Rachel. I work a corporate nine to five and I freelance videography and editing. <laughs> I don't really know what to call that side of my life, but because I'm just like so booked and busy, I usually like to take one of the weekend days, today's Sunday, to get myself prepared and ready for the work week. So welcome to a Sunday reset. I am at Bed Bath & Beyond to get this um, laundry dispenser, laundry detergent dispenser. And then I'm gonna go to Fulfillery in Tacoma Park to get laundry detergent. And just, yeah, that's, that's, it's, yeah, that's, <laughs> what am I saying? That's the vibe for the next like two hours. And then I have to go grocery shopping, meal prep, and There'll be more things, I guess. Sunday reset, let's go. There they are. Got it. Let's go to Fulfillery. Call before I drive off. So I got this notebook from that little vintage store and I saw it immediately and thought I need it but I kept walking around thinking why do I really need it why do I really need it because look at the color I needed it and right when I saw this like it just says record I don't know it just it screamed Rachel please buy me and I had the idea that every time I have a really good experience, I'm gonna write it down. So this will be like my for the memories book so that I can look back on it later and remember the good times that I had. I don't know, it's gonna be cute for me. And I might put like, like little pictures and then write about what happened in that day. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It seems cute, right? Like a cute thought. I don't know. As you saw, I got my laundry detergent filled. It was only $7. I don't know if that's good or bad. And then you saw at Tabletop, it was in my basket. I got the steamers and the candle tapers. Taper candles. Now it's time to go to the store. I don't know, I didn't really think about what meals I wanted to make this week, but it's been cold. So I guess just soup again. I haven't had a day like this in a long time and it feels good. I feel like I've been, is reclusive a word? Where you like, you know. I feel like I've been really codependent and not wanting to do anything by myself. And I was really pushing myself to get out of bed and do this today, even though I used to do things alone all the time and love it. But recently I've just been like, mm, I don't want to do anything by myself. It's good to hang out with myself. I love going to Tacoma Park because it's so cute and it makes me feel like I'm in some cute fake reality. Okay, let's go to the grocery store.
you know, there's a lot of times the universe speaks very loudly to me and I don't listen. So I was <laughs> trying to go to that Harris Teeter and I couldn't find any parking. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just leave and go somewhere else. And then I was like, yeah, give it one last shot. So then I circled around, I saw somebody pulling out and I got a stall. Wow, I love your blinker, baby. Love the use of it. And so I go in there and they have literally nothing. The only thing I got was chicken thighs and I needed other things. So whatever, I go in there, I get my chicken thighs, but they don't have beef chuck, they don't have brisket. And that was the whole reason I wanted to go to the store and whatever. See, like I need to just listen sometimes, but there's sometimes I think I'm just being like an annoying brat. Like, you know what I mean? But then there's sometimes where I'm not being an annoying brat and it's literally the universe being like, hey, sweet angel, you're gonna be wasting your time. Just leave, like that. So I will be going to the store later today. Okay, let's just go home. She wasted no time. She put that shit right out of the bag.